Good morning everyone, welcome back to a brand new day here in Greece, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, welcome. We're currently in Greece, we're in Corfu, staying at this beautiful hotel called Trip by Wyndham Corfu Dacia. Highly recommend, if you saw yesterday's vlog, you already know we've had an amazing time here so far. But first we're actually heading to a little beach club on Dacia Beach, which is about a two minute walk away from here. And we're gonna chill by the pool and go swimming in the sea, maybe get something to eat. We have been indulging in the Greek food. I think Greek food might be one of my favorite cuisines, or it is definitely one of my favorite cuisines in the world. All the cheese and all like the amazing meats and the hummus and all that good stuff. Comment below your favorite cuisine right now. What is your favorite cuisine in the whole world? I'd be very interested to know because you know George and I are massive foodies and we love our food. So we've had a nice day this morning so far. We've actually gone for a massage each at the spa while Coda napped, which was amazing. Obviously separately because someone had to stay here to watch him. We've gone for a swim in the pool. We've had a lovely breakfast. The buffet breakfast here is fab. Um, but we have definitely worked up an appetite. All this lying around getting massages has made us rather peckish and we do fancy a bit of lunch. So George and Coda are already on our stairs. They're waiting for me so I'm gonna head down now we actually had got a bit of work done this morning as well so we had a little bit of an admin session in the room which is always good to keep on top of everything so having a quick tidy and then we'll head downstairs but yeah having an amazing time here so far in Greece comment below if you've been to Greece or if maybe you want to after seeing these videos because I would highly recommend it especially this hotel it's been really lovely and I think we said in yesterday's video but the staff are really making it for us because they're just so accommodating with Coda and with us they're super friendly and super kind so yeah let's head downstairs and get some food position right by the sea here. It's a place called Malibu Beach Club and very nice isn't it? It reminds me of Bali or something. We've got this little couple of sun lounges, parasol, Kayla's playing in the sand, Geordie's trying to fix the sun cream. Struggling with the sun cream. <laughs> yeah it's all broken, it's all it's all over. They, the plastic, this is very boring, but the plastic clip got stuck in there. Yeah, I don't really know can't, what to do I, about I that. can't actually open. I feel like it's gonna like pop out it's and just go so all over his slippery. head. Yeah. Maybe just have to stay in the shade. Yeah. Yeah, this is Dacia Beach, which we've never been to before. We haven't really been, I don't think, we, well, we haven't been to Corfu together, have we? No, well, I've I can't been to remember Corfu. if I've been to Corfu as a kid. I need to double check with my parents. Really? You know when you just kind of go along with family yeah. holidays, you don't really pay attention. And in your head but, when you're a kid, you're like, oh, I'm going to Greece. You're not yeah, like, oh, I'm going exactly. to so and so. Look yeah. at this. Look at it's the so nice. behind us. The sea, we swam. Oh, He's off. Where are you off to? We swam here yesterday. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so nice. Views all around. And I'll go and take you for a tour of the beach. Yeah, and what we've noticed is that <laughs> Coda's making friends already. <laughs> what we've noticed is that it isn't too busy. It's touristy, yeah. yes, but it's not packed. We've got some beds. The beach wasn't that busy. Better go and get my son. Yep, yep. <laughs> so I'll take you guys down to the water quickly. It's super clear. And it's a tiny bit stony at the start. And then there's like a, a nice sand patch at the back. But even the stones here, they're not so and it's just so nice. It's perfect. There's like, there's trees all over it. We're kind of in a bay here. People are doing water sports and things. It's so beautiful. Super nice. Drinks have arrived. These two have jumped in the seat. I've been on uh, Instagram husband duties. <laughs> Super kid friendly as well. If anyone watching has kids and are considering a trip to Greece, the hotel we're staying at so so good with Coda. So friendly. Oh, our food just arrived. Yeah, they've been so good. And they were like walking around with him and helping us get him in and out of his high chair and stuff. And then this is a, I want to say one minute, two minute walk from the hotel. And then we got some drinks, some lunch, some sunbeds. I said to the guy who worked here, oh, this place is so nice because it's not that busy. And he was like, no, 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 it's full, it's full. And I, was, I didn't mean that. What I meant was it's like not packed. The sunbeds are not so close to each other that you're like sitting right next to someone. It's kind of spread out. It doesn't feel too big and too hectic and too touristy. He's splashing. Kick, kick, kick. Kick, kick, kick. And again, a couple of hours from the UK, three hour flight. We were delayed by one hour. But then you're here, suddenly, in paradise, mountains, he's off. We need to go and get our food. We'll get some food. Can you walk? Up, 
Up. Uh, go on then. So we went for a chicken gyros for lunch, which looks really good. Loads of meat, loads of chips. We just, just arrived. If you go back one video on the channel, see our previous video yesterday, we had some amazing Greek food. We ordered a lot of different okay. stuff. Yeah. It was delicious. Thank you. This is good actually, yeah, thank you. All good. Yeah, no, this okay. is fine. Thank this is you. good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we had a range of different Greek dishes, some traditional food, some local beer. So go ahead and check that vlog out. But now we have, I mean, this is like great beach food, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really good. You want some more chips? And some bread. Okay, guys, a very, interesting and amazing turn of events we've met the most friendly couple here with another baby who is a month younger than coda and they've been getting on they've been playing and then the guy's amazing he's from austria he's an engineer if you're viewers of the channel you might be thinking hmm i know that you guys have a friend who's austrian and also an engineer mike from making it happen it's not mike from making it happen oh i thought you were water baby that's someone else oh is it that one so we've got some fruits here we've got some wine <laughs> Coda's having a great time. Helping yourself. Yes, yes, I give it Help up. yourself. And yeah, made some new friends here. So, so cool, so unexpected. I know, it's so nice. But we always say when we travel, the main thing we love when we travel is meeting new people and meeting like minded people. It's amazing how much we have in common. These guys have been living on the island for four years. It's kind of like a similar ish story to Lucy and I, what we've done. Yeah, it's nice. And Koda is just loving the he's, fruit. He's literally going just been everything. walking up and down the beach for hours. So. He has. <laughs> Okay, we are back from the beach. Did you have fun at the beach? No. No? What do you mean no? Cuddle. What do you mean Dad. no? Cuddle. You want to cuddle? Yeah. You want to cuddle with daddy? Yeah. Oh, come here then. Oh. No. What do you mean no? No. What do you... You want to cuddle? No. No? Yeah. What do you mean no? Uh, yeah, we had the best time at the beach. So, so good. We've come back to the room, freshened up. Now we're going down to the restaurant here. We're going to have some food, if you like food. No. We're not having food? Turtle. Turtle? Yeah. Or cuddle? Yeah. You want to cuddle? No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> no. If you're hungry watching this, we recommend that you pick up a snack. Eat along with us because we're about to show you some delicious Greek food that you are... You're going to want to get on Skyscanner, book your flight, head over to Greece, go into the nearest Greek restaurant with good ratings on Google Maps and feast because we're about to show you some amazing Greek food. No. We're not. Or, or we're not. No. No? No. What do you mean no? No. Nose. Where's daddy's beard? No. Nose. Daddy. Yes. Wow. Lucy's looking good. Thanks. All freshened up. Yeah. Such an unexpected day, really, wasn't it? How cool was that couple that we met? I know. So fun. So nice. We really nice. I swear, this always happens to us so many times. If you've watched the travel vlogs for the last, I don't know, five years, we always meet such cool people. It just happens to us, doesn't it? Yeah. We've like shared Facebooks, we're gonna keep in touch. Next time we're in Corfu, they've invited us to their house. They're building a house here on the island, which is so cool. So now we have friends in Corfu, which that's just how it goes. We've got friends all over the world now, so which we honestly did not expect on this trip because we don't know anyone here. We've never been here before. We booked last minute. We're staying for only three nights and we are tempted to extend. We're gonna actually look to see if we can extend our flights, stay another night, maybe, I don't know. Because from what they were saying, there's so much more to see on this island. And it kind of makes us wanna do a bit of a Greek tour. Travel some of the different islands, go to some of the well-known places, some of the lesser known places. Some of our fellow vlogger friends actually, yeah. Matt and Molly from no, Dabble and no, Travel, no, done no, a ton no, of no. Greek vlogs. Did they not? I thought they did. No. No? Did they not? No. Was it someone else? No, no. I'm not. Can you say dabble? Dabble. Can you say dabble and travel? Dabble. No, no. Yeah, that'll do. We were looking at, before this trip, we were looking at some of their vlogs and it just looks so nice. I think we need to, I think we'll be back in Greece, put it that way. But for now, we do need to head down to dinner. We were very hungry after a day at the beach. All right. 
right, so we come down for dinner. Beautiful presentation on the, on the cocktails. They come on a plate. That's just like above and beyond, isn't it? So we've got a whiskey cocktail. The waiter here remembered that I liked whiskey from last night. That's nice. Slight sour edge in that as well. Lucy has, what's yours? Gin. We've then got some amuse-bouche, which is a word that I struggle to say. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but let's give it a go. Mmm. So good. Tastes like corn cocktail, seafood, salty, very, very nice. And we've got our main courses on the way. In Greece, it seems that you never seem to be at a table without bread, olives. We got some red olives here, which are just so good. And olive oil, the olive oil here. Lucy's obsessed with olive oil anyway, but the olive oil here just seems to be on another level. So bread, olive oil, butter, olives, whiskey, gin, fresh air near the beach. Amazing. Tzatziki, we've got this and it's like feta cheese, potato, potato salad kind of thing and with loads of different other ingredients but it's quite a traditional dish I think. We've got a Greek salad, some other cheese over here and some feta cheese pizza so basically it's just cheese everywhere. George's got a burger which is quite frankly not very traditional. Um, Coda's got ragu which is also not very traditional but I'm trying my best to but cheese is my all-time favourite food, so let's try this tzatziki. Mm -hmm. This doesn't compare to anything you get in the shops, is it? Like, mm. speaking of cheese, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Put those one there and it'll have more. And Greek salad here looks incredible. So basically I'm gonna load my plate up with all these different foods. I wanna cook more Greek food when I'm home, it's inspired me. And I think it's perfect for the English summer as well. But honestly, the fruit and veg here, is so nice. The watermelon, the flavour in all of like, the tomatoes, the flavour in everything. It's just so much better than in England and I'm kind of considering moving to Corfu at this point. Mm. 